Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own version, a DIY version, of Envy Tan's Ambush Body Scrub. Now this is a product that my company manufactured for probably the last eight years. And the reason why I'm discontinuing this is the new company agenda basically is we're only going to manufacture products that you cannot make at home. And the reason for that is if you can make it at home, that means it doesn't have any preservatives in it, which of course is always better and it's less expensive, which means you're probably going to do it and take better care of your skin. So I am going to show you based on this recipe right here, which is Envy Tan's Ambush Scrub, which feel free to Google and um, you know have a look at what people said about it. It's a fantastic coffee-based scrub and I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own. And then at the very end of the video, I'm also gonna show you my three-step process for skin finishing. And this is basically just to keep your skin always in its most healthy state and make sure that you have the cleanest canvas possible whenever you have any type of sunless application. Um, and these are products that I don't even sell. So it's just stuff that you buy one time and you use in the same fashion over and over. So I hope you find this video helpful. I was really excited to shoot this for you guys and to share it with you. And I will see you at the end of the video. Bye.
Okay, now I'm sure that was crystal clear for everybody, but if it wasn't, the takeaway here is that what you wanna do is two days before any kind of sunless application. So whether that's you're having it sprayed on or you're applying it at home or whatever, you wanna make sure that your skin is at its youngest state, which means that you have the freshest skin at the very top. So the way to guarantee that that happens is to go through this process. So for the two days before I apply my sunless, I use that DIY exfoliating scrub. And then the day of my sunless application, regardless of whatever kind of application it is, I use those exfoliating gloves and a really nice high-end um, body wash that doesn't have any kind of oils or anything like that in it because that will create a barrier and give you sort of those patchy results, which you do not want. All right, then after you have put your sunless on, every other day after that, what you wanna do is gently use that body brush everywhere. Um, because what it's gonna do is it encourages exfoliation. I mean, it has a host of other health benefits as well, which are just, you know, bonus, 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 and you can look that up. But for the purposes of skin finishing, I mean, it, it really encourages circulation. It encourages an even rate of desquamation, which is your rate of exfoliation. It's It just makes your skin glow, and when you try it, you're gonna see, and you'll probably never not do it again because it's just, it's inexpensive. You only have to buy it once, and lifelong benefits. I've been doing it for more than a decade and when I don't do it I know it my skin looks dull and when I do it my skin looks radiant so you know it's a it's pretty easy to understand why people do it once they try okay and then the very last thing and you know I'm gonna sound like a drill sergeant here and I don't mean to but I am so passionate about this moisturize 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 and most people if I can get them to moisturize only one time in a day I've done something incredibly right. So what I say is, you know, use a moisturizer that has a sunscreen because then it's just, you know, it's a dual product where, you know, you're getting that moisture that your skin needs to retain water, to, to keep it in and to attract it from the environment around you. And that helps with making your skin look plump and radiant and, and making everything just shine and glow and look beautiful. And, you know, of course, SPF sun protection you know, it cannot be overstated why this is important for anti-aging, for health benefits, for reducing your risk of cancer, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on and on. So moisturize right after you get out of the shower while your skin is nice and moist. Just take a shower, pat your skin, don't rub it, and then, you know, put that moisturizer with sunscreen. I always just use an SPF 30. Anything above that is sort of a waste in my opinion. Um, and, and you will be good to go. And you will see that your sunless results will look amazing and they will last far longer and they will fade more evenly and your skin will just be in good health you will age better you will feel better you will certainly look better i hope this was super helpful for you guys i'm just so excited i was able to share this information with you please click like and subscribe and share it with everybody that you know not for views but just because this is just good general skin health and it's something that people anybody can afford whether you know you're a teenager or a broke college kid like i once was you know, or it doesn't even matter if you can afford the finest in skincare. In my opinion, I would rather, you know, spend that money on something else or invest that money than be giving it to, you know, a high-end brand that is pumped full of preservatives when I can just do it at home myself. But that's just me. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Come on, you enjoyed this video of mine. Please subscribe just this one time. Oh. Go vlog yourself.